back to the channel i'm just here Renee. thank you so much for tuning into today's video i'm excited because we are doing a very easy lazy laid back hairstyle today as you can see it came out beautifully all right it's like a flip over method clip and install so easy so simple so let's get right into today's tutorial real quick let's cover some frequently asked questions about the hair these clippings are from curls queen it is a kinky straight texture i'm not sure what length but they are super long and very true to length so you don't have to get the long this bundle to get the full effect so this is one bundle i use every single clip i have a discount code in the exact link to this hair it'll be in the description box below so make sure y'all use that discount code when you shop so you can get money off and i think that's all you need to know so let's jump right in but make sure you like comment share and subscribe Hands down, this is the easiest hair tutorial I have on my channel. What you'll need are your clippings of choice, freshly washed hair and pre-stretched hair, and a red tail comb for parting. This is a flip over method, so you want to leave a good amount of hair out in the front to cover the tracks, but also keep in mind that you will be applying heat to this hair, so don't have too much out. Now, the reason why I'm doing this very easy laid back hairstyle is because I have some very flamboyant nails on that are holding me back when it comes to my braid down. So I'm just flat twisting my hair to get things out of the way and then I'm pinning them with duck clips. Following this, I'm gonna do my braid down. Do not laugh at my braid down because they are literally just gonna be two big chunky braids going down the back of my head because I cannot braid for anything right now with these nails on. So shout out to all my girlies who are watching right now who don't know how to braid don't know how to comb roll this tutorial is for you this is a safe space <laughs> So once you have your braid down done, you want to pin up the hair with some bobby pins just to make sure that your braids don't pop out underneath the clip-ins. For added security, I use two bobby pins on each side. For someone who was struggling really bad, this doesn't look like a bad braid down to me. So now all you have to do is match the clippings to your head and place them in order how you see fit. So I like to start at the very nape of my head and work my way up. I start off with a two clip, following with a three clip, and so on and so forth. Since I don't have a really tight braid down, this hair tutorial is also perfect for those who are very tender headed. This style causes no tension and no time to do. I said this earlier, but just to make sure, I used a total of one bundle from Curls Queen for my clip-ins. I used every single clip. No clip was left behind. And I love the way that Curls Queen customized these clip-ins because they're super flat. They kind of remind you of a tape-in, the way that they were constructed. They are very seamless, and it's very hard to detect them when they're installed. So here's how the back of my head looks, okay? Because I know I installed them pretty crazily. I was just putting them in where I saw that they could fit, but the style was already coming together now. You could stop here. Once you take out your, your leave out, you really don't necessarily have to put any heat to it. You can straighten your hair and rock it as a silk press. You can put some flexi rods in it. You can put the, the overnight curls in your hair whatever you want to do but today i am going for a very curly sue kind of style so i am going to put in some wand curls i got this wand curler from ulta i believe years ago but you can find any curler from tvs walmart target amazon wherever and i'm just going to throw in a lot of curls all over it's a very repetitive process so i'll just let y'all watch one shot to your heart without breaking your skin No one has the power to hurt you like your kin Kept it inside 
that didn't tell no one else Didn't even wanna admit it to yourself And now your chest burns and your back aches From 15 years of holding up pain styles like this and i don't want to put any direct heat to my hair like with a flat iron but i also want to calm my roots down i just take the heat from the wall curler and apply it to the roots to tame them just a little bit but now i'm about to do my baby hairs i'm using the got to be ultra glued it has been my current favorite products for edge control because it actually holds my baby hairs down all day yes it does flake over time but hold is most important to me also i'm doing very dramatic baby hairs if you don't like the dramatic look of course reel it in but once i get my baby hairs laid down to me this is the most important part of the process plucking out the curls you want to separate them to get that full effect right now i can see a tape not a tape right now i can see a clip in from the corner don't worry because once you pluck out your curls the hair will become super full and you don't gotta worry about that okay so um this just adds volume fullness and really brings the style together okay guys so this is the final product i went ahead and put on some makeup so we could get the whole feel of it all and i just think it's giving diana ross sexy voluptuous beyonce if i must say like it's really it's really taking it honey all right if you guys had any questions comments concerns put it in the chat down below thank you so much for tuning in don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye mamas Tell me you'll never wanna lose me, lose me. Tell me you'll never wanna lose me.